All right, we are live. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So who have we got here? Where is Lauren? Hi, Lauren. I'm just looking at the chat here. Oh, just look at the comments. I'll just change the comments here and then I'll be able to see it. Oh, there we go. All right. So welcome. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. And I'm here I'm with Maria. my I'm Maria. I'm Nice Star Beauty. <laughs> All right. It says there's three. Okay. Okay. All right, we have Lauren and Cincere. So we are going to talk about our March favorites, and we'll look at some new up-and-coming releases. There are a lot of them. I'm going to let there you go first, Maria. Um, Was my favorite? Yes, I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of new stuff. Um I could talk uh, for hours of stuff that I like that I've been using, but I haven't used a lot of new stuff this month. I don't think I've used a ton. All the Chanel on that was last month, really. So um, one of them is the Suku and I'm wearing it today. So I've been trying some other foundations, but I put this on again this morning and yeah, it's, I think it's really nice. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. I want to try that one. Hi. It is on my list. So I don't remember what <laughs> I said last month. <laughs> so if I you said this last month, well, then it's still a favorite. And that's the Chanel highlighter. Yeah, I might have gorgeous. said it last month, but I use it nonstop, so... It's just so pretty. Are you going to buy a backup? I thought about it. I did because it's limited edition. And I know once it's gone, I'm going to regret not having a backup. Yeah. I've been considering buying a backup as well, but um, I'm just, I don't know. I probably won't even get through that one because I have so much makeup. So I know. And, by the time you get through it, there's bound to be another one. Yeah. Am I that serious collector that I just need to have it to sit there? There was that setting powder or finishing powder that was only released in Asia that I did buy. I've never used it, though. It's just sitting in I my never. Cupboard. I know what you're talking about. Um, I didn't end up picking it up, but I thought about it. Anastasia, hi. And Ski Couture. I don't think we said hello to you. We um, message each other sometimes and, yeah, it's <laughs> lovely. Mm. And what right. else? Oh, you've got the thing. Okay. Um, so the Wayne Goss blushes. These, are, so the one I've got, I'm wearing it today, is Desert Blossom. These are seriously underrated, I reckon. Beautiful, beautiful colours. And so I put his highlight on underneath and then I put the blush over top. But I just think they're really, really beautiful. I love them. I think they're a really beautiful formula. So did you, you didn't pick up these, you did, Liz? I picked them up during the Beautylish sale. And I'm kicking myself for not doing multiple orders because I also picked up the Hindash collection and it's oh, not yeah. shipping until the middle of April. So they're not shipping any of my order until the middle of April. Oh, I just got an email. Um, I think it was last night or early this morning that they've just shipped it. Yeah. They're what I ordered on um, for that gift card event thing. Did you get the Hindash stuff? No. Right. So if I if I wouldn't have put the Hindash in, they would have shipped my order. Oh, they're waiting to be restocked on that. They're they're waiting to ship it all at once. And so that means I don't get my Wayne Goss blushes yet. And I picked up a couple other things that I'm really, really excited to get. Yeah. 
but I won't get it till the middle of April. But it's not like they're shipping it overseas. It doesn't cost them the shipping within America. They they should just ship it. That's yeah. They should. I'm I want my yeah. I want my blushes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. Uh, I picked up one of those um Natasha Denona here they're over four hundred dollars. The I can't remember, is it the 28 or like the green palette or the brown or yeah, the green brown or... one. I've got the blue purple one that I bought. I got it. There was a 60% sale here at Sephora, and I picked that one up. Still haven't used it. I just wanted to get it. And then this one, yeah, I thought, well, I'll buy it because yeah, in New Zealand it's over four hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. Wow. Mm, it's very expensive. Hi, here. Victoria. Thanks for staying up. 1 a.m. I'd be sound asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren says to email him and ask. Maybe I should. because Yeah, maybe you should. There are products that I want. <laughs> I think I bought some um, Aura Bay also. And I want it. I'm not sure what I, I, I remember. Let me have a look. I'm going to look at my phone. So I definitely got that Natasha Denona thing palette <laughs> um and yeah, I, don't... I got oh the chantakai lip chic and willow and sonia g brush which brush did you get i got the pencil one because i use the Rafa three a lot when i put shadow under my eyes and I wasn't sure, but I thought the pencil one, it seems small like that, but maybe it's it'll be soft but a tiny bit more dense, which would be really good for putting when I use eyeshadow for eyeliner. So I got that. And I got a conditioner, the Sol de Janeiro one, because I haven't tried that before. Oh, and I got a Sunday Riley retinol and niacinamide eye serum. It was pretty random, but... Because there's some things we can't get on Beauty Lish that you guys get over there. So like Tom Ford. Oh, they've taken away All Bay from us as well now. Really? Yeah. When I go in under the New Zealand one, All Bay is no longer there. But that's okay because Mecca and New Zealand sell quite a bit of it. Um, or there's... Um, I was talking to you about Adore Beauty, the one that's in Australia that ships here. They sell all bay as well. So I can still get it. It's not really okay. A big deal. Can you see that, Maria? Yeah. So this one right here is the Pencil Pro. Yes. And this is the Pencil One. Right. So they're like almost identical. They are. I haven't I got don't either. See, I don't see a lot of difference in them. It's the only difference is the handles. Um, so are they, what's the wording? Are they dense enough to be able to sort of put eyeshadow on for eyeliner? Under your eye? Yeah. Yeah. Because the Refer 3 is the one that I use all the time for that. That one's, the Refer 3 is going to be smaller. Right. But this is still, this would still work. Like, I would only use this under my eye. Okay. I don't think that they're big enough for, like, shadow on top of your eye. Right. Oh, I'll have a go. See what it, I mean, I love her brushes anyway. I mean, I was thinking um, yesterday when I, I really do reach for the brushes that I've got, and I've got quite a lot, really, especially for eyeshadow, it is the Rafa, but mainly the Sonia G. It really, they're really good brushes. I love them for my eyeshadow. Yeah. I bought a backup or a second one of the classic crease. Because <laughs> Lauren's angry about the Orbe, I think. I don't I know, think she's I angry think at me. I'll bet <laughs> about the Orbe. Yeah, she's just. <laughs> um, I bought a backup of the classic crease because I use it every single day. It's my favorite crease brush. So I went ahead and just bought a second one because I'm tired of washing it <laughs> all the time. Oh, this one I used. Did I use this today? Oh, the, the, I got the crease one. 
I like the crease one for an outer corner. And the crease pro. <laughs> I don't know. But I like this one not for my crease, but I often, when I put shadow up here, it's really okay. good for that. And it's dense enough. It picks up a bit more product. And it's really good for putting that product through there. That's what I use it for. Ooh, Victoria purchased some Vive makeup brushes. Oh. I'm really interested. I'd like to try some of the Vive uh, makeup. I know that I think, is it Colt Beauty that sells it? I thought it was. Was that Vive? Yeah. Yeah. Or you can just um, directly from their website. Right. The very first time I bought um, Vive, I got a I sh um, that neutral eyeshadow palette, and I got directly from their website here. No, I'd like to try some of that. Um, I like watching the um, Genevieve. I like her. I like watching her Instagram. Yeah. So what else are we up to for favorites? Um, so this one I have not done a video on. I have not talked about it, but I've been using it, and it's the new Tom Ford uh, Soft Matte Primer. It's really, really good. <laughs> it's really good. Um, I'm wearing it today. I really, really like it. It is good. I don't think it's as good as the new Hourglass one, though. I got That's the new hourglass. Um, hi, Jen. It, the the um, Tom Ford one definitely mattifies. Yes. It, doesn't it? As soon as you put it on, it's matte. Whereas the hourglass one does to a degree as well, but it feels not, not as such a flat matte. And then the hourglass has that, formula where it's got those tiny powders in it as well I don't know there's just something in it that I think works better but I'm still gonna I will use the Tom Ford there's nothing wrong with it it's just that I think the hourglass is a bit better um but I'll use the Tom Ford more over the next week or two as well and play around with that a bit too yeah I picked up the hourglass at, during the Sephora sale so uh, well, I'll be interested. I mean, I love it. I really genuinely love it. So, I mean, I, since I did my video, I don't know whether you can see, but it's, it's down to here now. Wow. So I nearly use it every single day. Yeah, I really love it. Well, I haven't, it's sitting next to me in the bag. I haven't <laughs> even taken it out. So I'm excited. Oh, I'll well, be to interested to see what you think of it. I think it's. Pretty amazing, actually. So, yeah. Well, maybe next month I will talk about it. Because <laughs> believe me, I've got a lot of makeup to, that I can talk about next month. This was just a slow month. Yeah, but there's a lot of new releases, isn't there, all of a sudden? Yeah. <coughs> just all of a sudden. It's just, it was quite quiet for a while and then bang. I know. Well, that was, you know, which was good. I mean, I was trying to stay on my low buy. Um, but I think that's over. I'm just <laughs> throwing money out the window. I didn't buy the new, although we'll probably talk about when we get to the new releases, but those new Gulan, the Kiss Kiss, the Honey Bee, because I can get them at Selfridges. I haven't got them yet. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure I'd love them, but I just don't know. I mean, I've got so many lipsticks. I just I just don't know. I like the girl on lipsticks though. They're really, really good. They are. And that one that you use a lot, is it the something floral rose? Is that floral? What it's called? I think it's floral nude. Floral nude. It is the perfect. That and the clay de Poe and tawny are just beautiful. Yeah, both really, really good. Yes. I, like I think you'll like me. You like a lipstick with um it's a lipstick, but it's got that bit of that shine to it as well. Yeah. It's, yeah. That is what I like. So did I steal one of yours? Were you going to say this? 
No, because it's not okay. a favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What's your next favorite? Um. Yeah, again, a bit underrated, but the um, the two um, the Natasha Denona I Need a Rose lipsticks. There was two in Peony, and okay. then the one in Daphne. So the one that I'm wearing today is in Daphne. So I've got the lip liner, the lipstick, and the lip gloss. Daphne is the one I think you would love, Liz. It's not as brown as, is it Kala or Kayla? The third one that I never got, but it's just in between Peony and that one. It's it's a really beautiful shade. It's a shade maybe, I think you would love. Maybe I can add that to the cart for my Sephora sale. Yeah, I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. So yeah, it's just, it's pretty. I like that. Yeah. It is. It's just in between. It's just, it's not too pink. It's it's Goldilocks of lipsticks. It's just right. <laughs> well, I have a lipstick. Um, so I have one of the Suku Sheer Matte Lipsticks. And I have, I don't know what shade. Maybe shade 11. It's like a brown nude. Oh, that's a Suku one? Yeah. So that's the Suku yeah. Sheer Matte. And I really, really, really like these. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. They are. And I don't think that they're sheer at all. No. No, they're not sheer. And they're not really, they're not a flat matte. No. They don't no emphasize need... all the lines on your lips or anything like that. And they're very creamy. Yeah. I yeah, really, really like nice. Them. Yeah, I got a couple of shades. They're just sitting to my right there. I can't remember. But I think I might have got that one, actually, that you just watched there. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I wish I could tell really what number it is or what shade it was called. Or It says Sheer Matte Lipstick 11. So... I can never pronounce the names of the lipstick oh, no, neither, or the no, Suku no. products. No, I would uh, butcher them, I think, if I did that. So, Jean, I've been really good so far for this for us. I only got one lip liner, but I'm going to look again tonight. <laughs> I woke up this morning at like 5.30 and couldn't fall back asleep. So I got online and went shopping <laughs> and I did the same day delivery. So... It showed up at my doorstep. It was amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. We, it was yeah. so it's amazing. Good like, yeah, I can order one day and get it the next, even though we're rural, you know, so rural delivery often can be a day slower. But Sephora here are really good. But no, I, I think even if I lived in Auckland, they don't do same day delivery. It's just. Yeah. I think it's this is thing. new. I mean, this was amazing. It literally was at my doorstep. I didn't even have to walk down to like where we normally would get our packages. I just had to open my front door and there it was. Well, they're competing now with Ultra a lot more, aren't they? And so I suppose they're trying to do extra things like that. I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was nice. So I've got a few goodies already. And last favorite is, um, The, wait a and it wasn't for that month but it's a favorite for me because I got it during that month so there we go and that's of course the metal last the Tom Ford that you sent me I and I'm wearing it today that. <laughs> it's so pretty yeah it's beautiful it really is it's but then the other three quads that I picked up are you know the the rose topaz and tiger eye and smoky quartz they're all really nice too they are yeah they are really really pretty all right so my last product is skincare and that is this is just a baby sample but this is the new la mer treatment lotion uh i've seen that and that's available here yeah it's really 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 good is it an essence yes right so and it's a little bit 
it's slightly, slightly thicker than the original. If you ever tried the original, this one's a little bit thicker. And I just love it. Love it. Yeah, I'm tempted to get it. but um, Because I just tried a deluxe sample and that did last quite a while. It lasted me nearly four weeks. I used it at night. And that's the original. It's just called the cream, isn't it? Or is it called the moisturizer? I can't the remember. The, the creme on there? That, yes. And it's really, I really like that too. I really like it. And it's, you and I both have oily skin and it's really, really good. Because it's a really heavy cream. Mm, it is. But, I put it at night on before um, and then I do the La Prairie the nighttime oil. I was using it after that. And then I'd also at the same time got the deluxe sample of the La Prairie, the Skin Caviar. Is it called the Lux Eye Cream? Or something? That lasted me. It's only a really small sample, but it still lasted me. I used it at night, um, probably about three weeks to four weeks. So I was using La Prairie under my eyes, La Mere Moisturizer, <laughs> and then La Prairie Oil up to one. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. I think I'll get the little Perry eye cream. Um, I did love it. I have it. I haven't opened mine yet. I'm trying to finish up my Chantecaille first. Did you get the just the, the proper size? Mm hmm I think that's about 600 here, New Zealand. I think it was like four. Well, it was 400 here. I got it before the price increase. Oh, yeah. I don't think we've got those price increases here. I don't think they've yet. They probably won't until they get new shipments of it in because the turnover here for like the prairie and lamia wouldn't be like in the states it would be a much more limited clientele i would say here in new zealand yeah yeah it's um no i bought a ton of la prairie and but i haven't opened it because i want to <laughs> i don't want to waste it and i don't so i'm trying to hold off till i finish some more yeah, I, I know. I mean, I love skincare. I love trying new skincare. I've got a lot of it, though. But as long as I stick to the things that I know that I need, I need to have an AHA. I need to have a BHA. I need retinol. Um, I need to double cleanse at night. And as long as I have those in there, and then I have vitamin C in the morning. But as long as I do all those, I can chop and change products. It's fine. But I've just got to make sure I have those things in my skincare routine. But otherwise... I can certainly, yeah, I try quite a bit now. It's good. I love skincare. I love it. I do too. I do too. Mm. That's like all I've bought recently. So I haven't, I haven't bought any makeup until now. <laughs> I've got <laughs> the makeup stack next to me is very high <laughs> and I'm excited. It's been a while. Just since... a haul video just on what you've got, Liz. I know. I was going to film one, um, but I ran out of time. So maybe tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So we look just at saying the prairie releases? prices went up crazy. Yeah, I don't think it's happened here yet, but obviously it's going to. Um, but they'll probably wait for the new stock. But I had a look the other day because I'm pretty keen on trying the La Prairie, um, the powder, and the price seems the same. So yeah. we'll get it before the price goes up. You will not regret it. Yeah, I'll get that, and um, and also the um, concealer as well. What shade do you have it in, the concealer? I think do you like it? I do. Let me see. I think it's four. Four. Okay, I have to note that yes, down. Yes, four. Okay. It's very creamy. I really like it. Like, complete other end of the spectrum compared to... Um, the concealer and the foundation. <clears throat> See, oh. I wore the La Prairie, the, the liquid foundation the other day um, because I was going to do a full day wear test for it. Um, I think when I showed that I would bought it in one video, someone asked me to do that. So I will do that. But I know there's a lot of people with that concealer on top that don't like it. I love it. I just have Love to warm it. it up with my, my fingers. 
Yes. I put it on with my fingers in a tiny amount and again start in there and just tap it across. And I think it doesn't crease, doesn't move. It's a really, I really like it. Yeah, no, it's good. Oh, you Jen's got to... shade two for the powder. Yes, oh, I think I have shade two for the powder too. Oh, right. There's only, so I think. Shade two powder, four, four, was it four for the pen? Yeah, four for the concealer. You won't regret the powder though. It's, it's so good. And it's, but it's huge, isn't it? And then isn't it the, like the bit that comes with it, like the normal stuff? <laughs> Oh, well, it probably lasts years, I suppose. Yeah, that, so you get what... like a little bitty travel and then a huge, I mean, you can see, look how much I've already used. Yeah. It's so good. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. I might order some this way. Actually, no, I'll give them a call. I can order online, but they'll probably add some more things for me to try if I do an order over the phone. So I'll give them a call and I'll do it that way, I think. 40 yeah, grams. It's 40 grams. It's huge, isn't it? Because we use my huge. Sicily. The is. Sicily is 12. 12. <laughs> and Chanel is 30. Yeah, Chanel is decent sized. But so it's 40 plus a travel and the travel is 10. So it's really 50. So it's almost the same size as the Sicily. I agree, Lynn. The powder is so good. Uh, I'm getting, well, now, see, I'm going to, yes. Okay, this week I'm going to do a phone order. Well, what, can you go in person? No, it's in Auckland. Well, I can. It's in Auckland, but I'm not driving two and a half hours to go and get the prairie powder. Why? It's not that far. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> It is for me. <laughs> I live in it's New Zealand. It. It's worth it. Um, no, I'll just do a phone order and um, speak to the La Prairie lady there. So. You're going to love it. And then you're going to be really mad because it's so expensive and you're not going to want to be without it. It's going to last a long time, though. All right. I'm with Lauren. You just need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drag Tony again with me again, though. Oh, please get the powder ready. Okay. All right. This week I'm going to, what's today? Today is Sunday. So tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to ring them. I'm going to ring them. Okay. Or just drive. Just, just drive. There's nothing. Yeah. I don't need to go and spend. If I go and drive and walk into that, because the place that sells it is Smith and Coe's, the luxury department store up in Auckland. I'll be spending more than the money I plan to spend just over the phone. <laughs> I think it's safer to stay home and do it over the phone. But they'll give you more samples if you go in yes, person. Yes, Anastasia, they're, they're pressuring me. <laughs> <laughs> it's peer pressure. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You no. won't regret it. You won't That's regret it. I had been thinking about it anyway, so... I'd be actually, I'd actually put it in the cart, except for the concealer, because I wasn't sure which shade, but I knew that too for the powder. And it's just been sitting in there for a week or two now. So I've definitely been, um, but I did buy something else instead. Actually, no, I took it out of the cart because I bought something else instead that's arrived in New Zealand. And that's, um, we'll have a look at the new releases coming up. But there's a MAC new release coming, the, the blush face palette and the eyeshadows. Is it called the Celestial or the Moon? That sounds right. Anyway, me, I bought it. Mm. I will go try and um, share my page. Let's see if I can figure this out. Is it working? No. Isn't it working now? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, hold on. It's telling me that I've lost permission to capture my screen. Oh. 
Oh. Well, just um, see, I can, oh, I can I, I'm not prepared for it though, but um, I can share a screen on my end. Shall I try? My son, um, my son, I use my son's computer, and he cleared yeah. out everything and changed all the settings and took away all my, <laughs> all um. my information. Uh, unlock this screen. I don't I'm know. here. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm still here. Okay. All right, Instagram. It's going to look weird. All right, let's Well, I'm sorry. That's totally my fault. I had everything all pulled up and ready to go. And that's all right. We'll just have a look. Okay. I'll see if it works from my end. I sort of haven't been having a look around, so we'll just see what's going on. Okay. She's screen. Here we go. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Did that work? Oh, yes, I think it is now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to go on to right. Chic Profile Official, which is Tavia's page. Um, let me scroll down. So much new. So much new. I know. Is yeah. this? That's the Mac thing, yeah. Okay. So three blushes and one skin finish. Yeah, so it's like they're all quite luminous, though, I think. So it's like three blushes, one highlighter. But you can also use about three. You can use shades on your eyes as well if you want to. Okay. And there's also an eyeshadow, a neutral eyeshadow palette with this collection. And there were some lipsticks and a lip liner. So I picked up that and I picked up the um, eyeshadow quad and a lipstick. Do you already have it? It will be here about Tuesday. Okay. See, this is the thing. I think New Zealand sometimes gets the releases when Asia gets the releases now. Okay, that seems here's to have the, been happening this here year. Here are the eyeshadows. Yeah, I mean, I had to get that eyeshadow palette. And the last MAC eyeshadow palette I bought, I did last year, I did a video, and it was really nice. The, um, the blushes in that other shade, the skin finish, were, reminds me of like a Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, it does. Yeah. One of your orgasm palettes. <laughs> um, Nudegasm. Okay. Was it called Nudegasm or something? I can't remember. Yeah. So Clarins is going to have a lip oil. I have never tried a Clarins product, whether it's skincare or makeup, ever. I used I think to I'm use, going to. I used to use their serum, I think it was. I think it was a serum. Maybe it was their toner. I forget what it was, but I really, really liked it. Um Givenchy, these are already out. I just wonder whether I mean they look beautiful. But I wonder whether you've used it a few times that will just look like a big mess inside the tube. Right. <laughs> it reminds that, me of candy. Like, that marble sort of effect. It'll look just like a mess, but I don't know. Um, let's see. This is all stuff that's already out. The new Charlotte Tilbury came out. So here is the um, oh yes, the, the hmm. I mean they're really gorgeous. Pretty. They're really pretty, but I just I don't need them. And last year I ended up buying a whole lot of shades that I just 
wouldn't normally wear. So I yeah. just think, mm, I don't know, I'm still tempted. I can get them because they're at Selfridges. So. And then there's more here, like a purple. And I know, yeah, these are available now. They are nice. There's a couple of really nice shades in there that I wouldn't mind getting, but. All right. So Christian Louboutin is coming out with a cushion foundation. Um, it's only going to have five shades. Well, if it's anything of the models that they've got there, it's, there's not going to be one dark enough for me. I don't think. Who was it last year? Gucci, so here are the five of... shades. That's Those are really, really light. Yeah, I mean, maybe the darkest one there. It was like Gucci last year when they released with their cushion, only five shades. I was the darkest in that. And I am a light to medium, and um, it looks the same here. Yeah, those are really light. They yeah. are. Um. <laughs> Ailing. Oh my God, how late am I? You're late? No, you're not. Okay, I'm very excited for the Sicily. I have to tell you, I'm really excited. I do think that they look really, really lovely. Yeah. That top. New Zealand still hasn't even got the. Um, Sicily lipsticks that came out. The bombs were they the bat? Were they bombs? Yeah, they're bombs. Really? No. Yeah, these. So I've got so a couple pretty. coming um, because I, there was a couple of shades I wanted to try, and so I've got a couple coming. So I, I'm going to have to get these over from overseas as well. No. It says that they're going to be released in May in Japan. Oh, see, then we may do. <laughs> Because it is happening that Asian releases, we're getting them, not with everything, but a lot of things at the moment seems to be coinciding with Asian releases. So it's in that South Pacific area. So, Well, these are gorgeous. So I'm really excited for those. Let's see. Yeah, what they else. are. I wonder how much they are each. Let's see. Did it say? I don't think so. No, it doesn't say. All right, the new Tom Ford. Oh, Aileen. Oh, Sisley. Oh, don't you like Sisley? <laughs> I don't think she does. Oh, Aileen. Of course. You... Um, yes. I don't know about this Tom Ford. I mean, I love it, but I don't know when it's going to be available. It was available for pre-order. And when I filmed my video, it was available for pre-order. And now it's not available anymore. So... But didn't you get that or is this a different one again? No, this is the one I got. I got it at uh, my boutique. Oh, right. But you can't get it online yet. It's really pretty. It is pretty, but as you said in your video, and I mean, I'd have to have a look, but to me, it's pretty similar to the shade and illuminate blushes. But It they? is. It's just a really different formula. Yeah. Um, so there's that. And then what's this? I do not know how to pronounce this brand. No. I can't I even have see some it. Other skin care. <laughs> I can't even see it. Is it Shimura? Something like that. Hmm. I mean, they look, but the first one looked really pretty. The eyeshadow. So who sells that? I mean, obviously they do, but I mean, is there any other? Well, the I mean, skincare, I think they have the skincare at Sephora. Oh, okay. So, we haven't got that here. Oh, Cic no, Alien says Sicily's always a fail. Really? Sicily eyeliners are good. Sisley blushes are good. 
I ordered a lot of the new Charlotte Tilbury. It came today. I haven't, I haven't opened it yet. It's not here yet. I think it's pretty. It is. But, and also Charlotte Tilbury doesn't deliver to New Zealand anymore. So I've got to wait for Mecca to have it and um, I haven't got it yet. Really? No. But there's still issues with shipping. Um, there are shipping delays on things, isn't there, and things. So I don't know. All right. So I'm really, really, really excited for this bronzer. The bronze is beautiful, but it's an overspray, isn't it? It is. And after you use it, I'm sure it's going to look just like all the other Guerlain bronzers I have. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But I don't care. No. Berlin has some of the best bronzers. They do. Like, I mean, they're so good. So Shu I... Umura. Right. Oh, it just... Uh, Lynn was just saying how to pronounce Shu Umura. Right, Shu Umura. Although, don't take it from me. Apparently, when I say chicken in my videos, it sounds like I'm saying chickens. So... <laughs> As one subscribes. <laughs> I don't know about the meteorites. They don't really scream that I have to have them, but. No. But if you collected them, which some people do. Right. I think they'd be lovely. Like I wanted to get those little travel ones, but, and I probably could if I emailed um, Selfridges. And the reason why I can't is because it's classified for some reason. They've classified this perfume. And of course, they can't send perfume to New Zealand, Selfridges. So they're classified the as what? They classify it as perfume. It's under makeup, but it comes up in their site too as perfume. But if I emailed them, I'd probably be able to get them. They'll say, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. We'll mail them to you. But for some reason, that's just what it's coming under. So well, when I just... go to buy it at Selfridges and go to checkout, it won't let me buy those items because they're classifying them as perfumes, but they're not. Well, they're not, they're just like a finishing powder. I don't know. They're, yes. Yeah, it's just a mistake at the end, but um, yeah, I don't know. I still wouldn't mind to get those little, those little mini ones either, but they're cute. So the Gucci, I haven't got this either. This is at Selfridge's toe, and you guys got it at Sephora. Is that right? Um, the yes. So Matt, I'm on the fence about the liquid lipstick. I really want to get that eyeliner. I just can't believe it came to Sephora, and it is going to be included in the sale. But I like that there's a lot of brown nude shades. Yes. What does it say? It's a liquid matte. Does it give her more of a description about what they're actually like? Gives you liquid lipsticks. And, um, um, Tavia did not. And then Dior dropped all of their new summer stuff. Are you going to pick up the eyeshadows? They're not here. <laughs> Does Selfridges have them? No. No. It's just because um, the they're not limited. Are they limited edition? No, they're not, are they? Or are they? Um, I'm not sure. I think we are getting them. And um, but maybe not for another week or two. I'm not sure. Although I may be able to get one of the luminizers, which I do want because I think they are really, they're really beautiful. They're just very subtle and. I can't I decide really which great. one of the luminizers that I want. I think I'm good. I think I quite like the, is it Nude? Nude Glow? Is it what it's Nude called? Riviera. Nude Riviera. Yeah. So is it a completely different color? Aileen, you did a um, video, now I can't remember. Did you have the original, because it was 01 Nude Glow. Is that what it was called? Um, they the same shade. 
but they've just called this nude Riviera. I'm just wondering if they're the same. But they're different. not the same. They're slightly different. Mm. And I thought Tavia had swatched. So pink Riviera and nude Riviera. Okay. I thought she had compared it to last the ones from last year too. I'm still here. I just want to grab the. Um... But she has swatches of the eyeshadows too. See, no, yeah, it was number one nude glow. I'm coming back. Here I am. All right here we go. So number one nude glow. Can you see? I don't even know where to point the camera on this thing. Um. These are beautiful though, and are the new ones a little bit more sheer? I've heard that they possibly are. I don't really be able that to see I'm it. not sure. It's nude glow there. Ooh, but I definitely want to pick at least one of them up. Oh, that's so pretty. It is. I got that one in pink glow from last year. Um, yeah, I think nude glow I might get. Oh, Aileen's saying, she goes, I have nude Riviera. Oh, yeah. And a little pinkier than the Camellia from Chanel. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right, though. Oh, Jen passed on it. Oh, Jen. Aileen says it's what's, more what's sheer. What's happening? <laughs> what is happening, Jen? She always I actually it. really, I think I like that uh, bottom eyeshadow, the 779 Riviera. I think it looks pretty. I do too. I like them both. I mean, if I could, I like cool eyeshadow. I like warm. I like, so if I could get them here, I probably would pick up both, to be honest. And I, because I do like the Dior shadows they put out. Yeah, they're pretty. Uh, Suku. Aileen, are you going to get some Suku? She hasn't bought any Suku yet. I I think I'm going to pass on this. The eyeshadows don't scream to me. I don't know. Maybe the blush. Suku has the best blushes, honestly. The They're, blush down the bottom is Yeah, the blush on the bottom. Gorgeous. The quad on the right They've got bigger pictures, haven't they? If you go over, I think. If we the with the blue, yeah, I think that's quite nice. I think one thing about Suku is they do are quite unique, though. The quad on the left reminds me of a more subtle version. As soon as I saw it, of the Tom Ford quad. Really? Yes. Is it African Violet? Oh, okay. Is that what it's called? But I mean, it'll be softer than the Tom Ford one. But very, very similar color story, I think. Mm. I can see that. I don't know. If I get anything, it'll be the blush. So maybe I do want that new foundation that you have. So maybe... I don't know. Yeah, it is a lovely foundation. <laughs> no. Lauren says no. No Suku for you, Lauren? Jen Not loves the, the whole blush. collection. Blush. I think the whole collection is beautiful too. I'm going to have to have a good look at it um, and decide what I'm actually going to get. Because um, the lipsticks are... Are they just... What are they? Are they liquid? It looks like a gloss. A gloss. Okay. Let me see if she has any other. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's a gloss. But it looks really pretty. It does. And I haven't tried um, one of the glosses before, so... And I'm intrigued by the other one because they had like a light in the new 
melting powder blush, um, like a light lavender. I mean, this is darker than that, but that sort of color or hue. And I never got it. And people that got it really loved it. So I think I'm going to be tempted to get this as well and see what it's like. Jen said there's two glasses and a liquid lipstick. All oh, right. Okay. All right. So that is all that is on Tavia's page. Um, now let me see if I can figure out how to share. Um, it's getting a bit warm now. Angel Naked One. All right, so he has these new Guerlain eyeshadows. Yes. Yes. I'm very I want that. I want I'm it. very interested in these. I would definitely get these. Yes, so would I. I thought there was another photo. Um I think there is. I'm sure he had another photo of that. There were a couple of them. Hmm. The Chanel tweeds, they're forever Oh my waiting. gosh, I feel like they're never going to come out. I think it's September, September 1. There's one of the tweeds that just is screaming my name and I cannot wait for it to come. Yeah. They are um, they are gonna sell like hotcakes before they <laughs> once they drop, won't they? Yeah. Anastasia, I'm pinked out. <laughs> I want it too. All right, let's see what else he's got. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff that's coming that's not out long yet. Oh, the Pat McGrath. I didn't get any of that. I didn't either. Um, what is this? Art Deco? Yeah, I mean, they look they look beautiful. I had a quick look on their site. I mean, I think the packaging's beautiful. I don't know whether it would be considered luxury, though. I don't. I've never heard of it. The packaging is gorgeous. Mm. I love the, I love the packaging. But I don't, I have never heard of it. It's really different, sort of like the Dolce & Gabbana, isn't it? It's very. Yeah, that's what it reminds yeah. me of. Yeah. Did you get any of these Hermes oils? No, they're not here. <laughs> <laughs> they're not here in my little corner of the world. <laughs> they're not here. I, this is the only one that I would get. <clears throat> And I haven't got one yet. I'm not in a rush anyway to get them, to be honest. Um, Hermes, you know, they're a little bit, maybe a little bit hit and miss. So how much are they selling for? Um, I don't remember. Mm. Probably like $80 or something. Let's see if there's a price. Yeah, Aileen's just saying, yeah, so much, so many hit or miss with Hermes. I have never tried anything. Yeah, it is. It really, it really, really is. Um, oh, yeah. I love the blushes. I love the new highlighter. Yeah. Um, I thought that balm was awful. Mm. And a couple of the lipsticks I've bought um, – were okay, hardly any sort of pigment, but then that latest release they had of their lipsticks are really nice. I don't know. They need to be a bit more consistent. I wonder I if that's the only, I mean, um, with this one here, the Gulan one, I wonder, I imagine they'll bring out other color stories as well. But I um, thought that there was another color story. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Is this it? 
Nope, this is this still the time, same one. Yeah. I think it was um, Lauren that said, oh, so many pinks this year. I think she was referring to the luminizers and that, but yeah, there are. There are everything's thrown pink a bit. A lip what balm. You, what do you think about the Gucci um, hydrating mist? And I don't know what this is. Is this a lip balm? Aileen will be sprinting for that. <laughs> no, she had a really bad time with the Gucci Foundation. <sighs> uh, yes, I really like the blushes. Yes, the blushes are. I don't know. I heard good things about the Gucci primer. So maybe the... Um, the setting spray or the hydrating spray would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a balm, isn't it, next to it? It looks like a lip balm or... Yeah, I'd probably I can't pass on the lip balm. I mean, it's pretty. My... The packaging's probably gorgeous and everything, but I don't think I'll be... Spurging. I think that will, both of those will be a pass for me. Um, what about these Tom Ford Ultra Shine Lip Colors? Oh, I don't think I've seen those. Oh. So these are brand new. Oh, nudist. Actually, they had that in another formula, didn't they? Because oh, I've got that shade. Oh, really? Yes. I have. It's in a white. Wait a second. I'll just. It's just to my right. So I'll just uh, try and grab it. There we go. I'll just try and grab it. Um. Here we go. So this is. Yeah, I'll come back. Wait a sec. Here we go. So this is nudist. So maybe it, you already it have like, it? No, it's it's different formula, I think. This is nudist. That looks more is it a is that a soft matte? It looks like a, a satin. I think. Yeah, it'd be a satin type formula. Okay. It says lip color sheer. Lip color sheer doesn't look very sheer to me. Lip color sheer rouge. But anyway, that's the shade nudist, which is really lovely. And I do wear that one quite a bit. So they look like some really lovely shades there. Yeah, I think I would get that. Yeah. Aileen, I am loving it too. I really, really like it. I think it's good. It is good. Good until I try the hourglass, right? Yeah, Aileen won't go near hourglass. So, um, yeah, I would say if you're not going to go anywhere near hourglass, then the Tom Ford primer is good. It's very mattifying. But, yeah, I think the hourglass is better. That's my opinion. Anastasia wants that bomb. Oh, you want the... I want the Gucci balm. I think it would probably be good. Like I wear a lip balm every night before I go to bed. I put Vaseline on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very luxurious. <laughs> Did you end up getting the Sicily lip balm? Um, no. Okay. No. It's good too. Sicily's come out with a new um skincare product too i got an email yesterday and shantakai's hd radiant blush is now available for sale on their website really yes i did not know that it is i may have to pick that up i'm very curious about that and the shantakai have also got if you spend 200 or more you get three botanical essentials gift Three I saw that. I did get that email this morning. 
Right. But no, but though there has been, I got another one saying about the, no, I didn't get an email. I was just on the website looking at the Bacat Botanicals gift and that came up and it says to, you could add it to your bag. The um, HD Radiant Blush, it's called. The yeah. blush. It looks very, very soft, very subtle, like a really does, light yeah. pink. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's that one. Hopefully you can see so that one. Yeah. Is that the one in the summer, Aileen, or do they have a one in the spring too? Because I know that they do the one, I thought that was like in July. I don't know. There's so you many sales. Have, you don't know how lucky you are over there with all the sales that you have. I. Although I did get some things from the Sicily sale, the 20%, because um, I used it to that forwarding thing that New Zealand Post has. Um, but really, I have to wait for Selfridges to have a sale because they just don't. The real high-end luxury here just really doesn't go on sale. Not really. When um, Selfridges has Sicily on sale, that is hands down the best deal you will get on Sicily. Yeah. I agree, Aileen. That's a good sale to comments. stock up on. The um, Sicily has the new, they reformulated their all day, all year um, moisturizer. Oh, right. So that's what they just reformulated it and it is out now. Uh, okay. I just picked up um, during the sale, the ecological compound lotion. But I do also like the all day, all year moisturizer. They're both really good. I've got a Sisley that triple oil cleansing balm is beautiful and it's a big container too. Um, it's a lot more product than the average cleansing balm. So that's actually quite good value for money, the Sicily one. And what else, Sicily, have I got? Oh, the Radiant, the Foaming Radiant Cream Cleanser or something it's called. That's really nice. And I ordered um, in that Sicily sale another skincare because I haven't tried any other skincare from them. So I did try one more, but I can't remember it's called now I when you use like that. that forwarding thing does that save on shipping <sighs> is it cheaper no, no. than like if i shipped it yes but now it comes in like you've got to pay um because for everything here and everything you buy here in new zealand gst is added which is good in services tax and that's 15%. So what was happening in New Zealand, so they changed the law, um, people were buying things from overseas, not paying GST on it, which was really good. So they changed the law, and that's why some places won't ship to New Zealand now, because they have to collect that tax and add it to our total on behalf of the New Zealand government and then pay the government. So when it gets forwarded to the New Zealand Post, I have to upload the sales invoice from my email and screenshot it, put in the amount, and then they'll add the GST. Seriously? Yeah. So then it would just so be cheaper. Selfridges will pay the GST to New Zealand government. Um, Charlotte, and that's the place, that, and that's why like Charlotte Tilbury stopped because obviously they don't want to have that hassle of doing that. Um, but there's quite a few places that do, considering. But it's just that it was costing the government, obviously, a lot of money. You know, people were going overseas and buying stuff, bringing it in, not having to pay GST on it. And it's, yeah, 15%. It's just, and it's like that nationwide food, petrol, anything you buy, cars, anything. But then we have a business, so we can claim the GST. So is back. that... 
essentially like a sales tax? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just on absolutely everything. That's how, I mean, Chicago's the same way. Ours is like 11, almost 11%. Yeah, no, it started off at 10% when GST was first introduced. Then it went to 12 and a half. Now it's at 15. Um, but yeah, I mean, things for like petrol, um, anything we can claim on our business, we can claim that GST back. Because when you own a business, of course, that's when you get that. So, um, I mean, I don't earn hardly anything through my YouTube thing. A little bit, but not much. But I'm wondering whether I'm going to talk to my accountant and I might this year set it up as a business because then I can claim the GST on all my makeup that I buy. I can claim all the makeup that I buy. Yeah. My camera, my lights. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm. So I'll. he might say, no, Marie, you're not making <laughs> The government might look at me, the IRD, you hear it, the IRS here, we call it the IRD. They might have a look because, of course, I'll be getting refunds all the time because, you know, I will take another probably, what, four or five years plus before I broke even. I don't know. Hi, Monique. Oh, you got high sales tax in California. Yeah, all the states are different, aren't they? Yeah, every state, every city, every every city has a different tax. Oh, Monique. Hi, Monique. I haven't, you've been very quiet. I haven't, you haven't done many lives lately. Is that right? Or is it just not popping up on my notifications? Because I miss seeing her lives. All right. Aileen says it's worth it. A oh, limited liability company. Is that what that is, LLC? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth it. But I just, I'll, it's because I'll be getting refunds all the time from the tax department. They might say, well, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we paying you money all the time? You know, what's happening? Why isn't it coming the other way around where you owe us some tax that's the only thing but I'll chat to um, my accountant and um, I mean last year there was no way there was no point but now this year I think maybe it probably is so yeah, yeah. I was studying for my doctoral oh, okay I went live with last day right oh that's okay no I thought I'd be missing you. I saw your Instagram the you know a little while ago and I thought I haven't seen much from you. So because she is funny. Monique has funniest Instagram posts. Yes, careful of the IRS, they don't play and will find you. That's right. Yeah, that's that's you know. I think here but I think if you're genuinely running a business, like it'd be different if I made up that I was doing all this and was just buying tons of makeup and stuff and then claiming it. Obviously, that's fraud, um, tax evasion and all those ugly things. But I can prove I've got a YouTube channel. I can prove my Instagram and that posting regularly. So it's not like right. I'm making something up that doesn't exist. It's just exactly. that it doesn't make a profit. <laughs> that's all. Well, at least here I know um, I'm kind of – my in, my impression and my understanding is that the IRS is a little bit more lenient, like your first couple of years, that there's going to be a loss. Yeah, all right. Okay. I think if you had a loss for continually, continuously a loss every year for like 10 years or something, they might think there's something going on, but. Right. Because initially. Because even though I bought my camera and everything in the lights last year, I can still bring it into the box, you know, if I have it. And this is the time to do it. It's now just gone past 1st of April, so it's new tax year. So, um, yeah. All right. Did anyone? Because yeah, I do all the books for our business, for Tony and me. Um, I do all the GST returns. The only thing, 
our accountant hardly, hardly does anything. The only thing they do, I put, they have everything in front of them. It's all in that zero system. You guys have that zero accounting system over there? You probably do. Um, so it's in the cloud. And I put it all in. So the accountant just has to go through and they just do the end of year part, but it's basically done all for them. But those GST that we're talking about, you have to put in a GST return every two months here if you run a business, saying what GST you've paid, what GST you've earned, and we pay them GST because it makes out that we earn more than we spend. Um, but I do those. I do those myself every two months and file them. So I do all that. So, um, no, I mean, I can even claim, like, for doing this part of the house because I have this room here. Right. We can count the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Start filming in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, the earrings. They were my mum's. They're very pretty. And I haven't worn them for years. <laughs> and, I them, and I saw them. And I probably close to it. So, yeah. I said, they're clip ons. Which I've really the only, only pair of clip-ons that I've got. And there's a necklace that goes with it. But they're pretty. They're very yeah, they're pretty. Mums. And it's like this with this ring here. I wear all the time. This is I bought this for mum just before she died at Christmas. So um well me and dad did actually. So yeah, that's my mum's too. So yeah. That's why I wear Aww. it all the time. That's mm. nice. Mm. <laughs> What did they say? Two certain things in life, death and taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? It is. Okay. I think we're talked out now. All right. I need a coffee. Have any Another further one. questions before we leave? These would suit you, Jen. She suits things like this. With the, with the, the curls. Hair with the curls, with all the curls around it. They look pretty. I like them. All right. Okay. Well, thanks for coming anyway, Stephen, and everyone else for coming along. It was good today. Yeah, really it was good. Very I love nice. doing these lives. Hmm. Next month, I will have more makeup. I probably will too, actually. Yeah. Because I can already tell I'm going to be buying a lot. Yes, I know. There's always so much to buy. It's always beautiful. I'm like a, what is it, magpie too. <laughs> Sparkly things. I like it. All right. Then we will see you guys next month. Okay. All right. See you. Thanks for coming, Bye. guys. Bye.